Star Citizen shirt. Yep. Did you wear that just because you know you're going to be on camera? Yeah. <laughs> hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us on Meet the Devs. I'm James Pugh, and with me today is technical designer Matt Sherman. Matt, how are you doing? Doing good. Doing good. <laughs> so how'd you, get a, how'd, you, how'd you first hear about the project? I uh, Just reading through news sites, I want to say it was uh, Joystick. Uh, they had an article up that was... Hey, Chris Roberts is going to be revealing his next project at GDC Online, uh, which is the one that happens in Austin for October of uh, 2012. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'll have to pay attention to that. Uh, went to the site, registered, mm. got my golden ticket, and all of that. Yeah, dude. So, uh, yeah. And then when GDC rolled around, you know, start seeing the news sites pop up, and it's like. Stream goes up, stream crash down, <laughs> and just overloading instantly. Um, and yeah, it just. So you, you've been here since literally the beginning. Yeah. So you uh, played like Wing Commander and all of Chris's old games? Yeah, uh, although, yeah, I even brought my backer card. Oh my god. Yeah. Zoom in on this. All right. I don't think they zoomed. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely played the old games, uh, although it was interesting, I actually, my first experience with the Wing Commanders was the PlayStation releases. Oh, wow. So I played through 3 and 4 on PlayStation, um, but then played a ton of Freelancer when that was out, uh, Star Lancer on both the Dreamcast and the PC, um, and just a, a lot of the other space games in that era. So, so there, was like this, there was this hole that you wanted. Yeah, because there hasn't been, been anything one, yeah. for, what, 15 odd <laughs> years. Like, okay. So you, so you came over here from Blizzard. Yep. What was the difference like between Blizzard and here on your first day? Uh, it was a bit overwhelming here because instead of being really focused on just my part of the project like I was uh, at Blizzard, it was much more just you're going to have your hands involved in everything, so better get used to stuff fast. So picking up how the items were set up, picking up how, just how we do, like, the processes for setting up a ship, setting up a weapon, setting up any part of the game, um, getting the builds running on our computers, totally different thing. Uh, just managing all the files, like, it's... It, it's... It's still like, okay, I've done this for a few years, but now just on a much more complex level. So now we know how you got into the industry. We know how you got here. Yeah. What made you first want to be part of this industry? Uh, there was an old issue of Nintendo Power when I was, I want to say, seven. And in the back of it was the contest results for their Design the Ultimate video game contest. And up until that point, I had no idea. It's like, oh, just games happen, you know? I plug a cartridge into my Intellivision or my Nintendo or whatever, and it's like things pop up on screen. And, and that's when I first realized, it's like, wait, I could do this for a career. I could, I could make a life out of making video games, and I was just sold on it then. Um, and one of the other interesting things, at least for me in that contest, is the guy who won it went on to uh, become a fairly well-known comic artist, uh, mm. J. Scott Campbell, who's mm. done a lot of work for like Marvel and other companies. So just really interesting for it to, okay, that's where it started. In my head, it was just like, and the man who went to win that, Chris Roberts. <laughs> that would have been a bit creepy. <laughs> He just like he still he, he tried to win this contest even though he was already making me a commander. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you leave that part out. Yeah. <laughs> but what was it that originally drew you to Star Citizen? Was it just Chris Roberts' name and the genre, or was it something a little different, something else? I uh, it was like that that high level vision, basically. Uh, you know, seeing a constellation and sort of seeing the pitch of you know. You'll have one guy flying it, two of your buddies manning each of the turrets, and a third of your buddies in the Merlin, you know, flying around your ship yeah. and able to dock in and out. And that, uh, just on a raw conceptual level, was something that seemed so cool to me, where uh, there's a lot of games that have done multi-seat vehicle stuff, but never detailed where it's like you're walking around the ship to get there. 
All right, so before we let you out of here, we got three rapid fire questions. You ready? All right. Favorite movie? Aliens. Never seen it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Favorite video game? System Shock 2. Okay, I played that. It's a great game. Yeah. Ken Levine, man, that guy. Yeah. He can literally do whatever he wants and, like, kind of bums me out that he wants to do, like, I mean, it doesn't bum me out that he wants to do, like, you know, lower budget stuff, smaller stuff, but I, I miss the big bombastic games from him. Yeah, but I, I still think that, like, and one thing that he nailed in that game is this is how you do a crazy twist reveal yeah. in a video game and just making that grand set piece of it where it's like, oh, it, sh it showed in. Oh, oh, crap. <laughs> Yeah, and then the, and then it seems like the rest of his games since then were just chasing that same that same paradigm shift, which yeah. it were you know worked well. I think it worked well on Bioshock and Bioshock Infinite. Yeah, but it was a little ruined by the fact that you knew something was coming. Yeah. So I'm excited to see what he does next, but I am gonna miss like the big AAA, more expensive stuff he's been doing recently. Yeah. Um. So I've never seen Aliens though. And favorite ship in Star Citizen. Uh, Redeemer. I. I Redeemer. I. From from just seeing it during Next Great Starship, I was immediately in love with that. Um, I really like the the wings and the engines on it. Some people hate the Nutcrackers. I think they're awesome uh, because I, I keep thinking of interesting, you know, like VTOL or almost twin stick setups where have those things rotating around. It's like, well, now going straight up, straight down, like... It can be, it could be a lot more maneuverable than I think mm -hmm. some people give it credit for. And then just the the gunship look of it, it looks very aggressive. And I'm just a huge fan of all the Aegis ships overall. So I was really happy when that went up for sale. Awesome, man. Thanks again for coming out. Thanks for having me. Once again, this is Matty Sherm. I'm James Pugh, and you just met a dev. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty good, right? No. Oh, no whatever. Cut it. <laughs>